Hi, it's Alex from LaughingPlace.com here today with a pretty cool box. This is from Disney Movie Club Boxes. You may have seen ads for these online. Uh, what this really is, is a box of stuff that's meant to enhance your movie going experience. So Disney Movie Club sells Blu-rays and DVDs. Disney Movie Club Boxes sells things to take to the theater for the movies that you're about to see. So this one, obviously all about Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker, and it has arrived just in time for our Thursday night showing. I can't wait to see this movie. Uh, now the box art is pretty great. It's all art from other promotional materials, so nothing is um, exclusive here, but we've got the brand new Sith Troopers here on one side, obviously Rey and Kylo fighting amongst the cool Stardust with some red uh, sieve whatever coming down. Um, and then we've got our, our droids and Chewbacca on the one side. And then the back side has more promo art of Rey and Kylo Ren, which is cool. Right when you open it up, this is a picture, a screenshot from the film. Um, that is there in the box. The box is really nice, very collectible. It's a very sturdy box. It does have these ribbons here to keep the lid upright when you're opening it. And right on the inside, you can see some of the things that you can start to take out. We have a pair Pair of exclusive pins. They are very gold. They are able to spin around, so we're going to take those out and show you uh, one of the resistance and one of the um, rebel symbols. And then we have a little booklet. That booklet is about a uh, official Star Wars app, and there is an exclusive selfie feature that you can activate using the QR code uh, that you can only get with this box. There's an R2-D2 earbud holder. It's just a plastic um, piece that you uh, punch out, and then you can use this to wrap up your earbud cords. And then there's also a really awesome decal of BB-8 and Dio, the new droid that premieres in this film. There's also a lanyard. There's just one of the lanyard in the package, um, but that has a discount code when you upgrade your movie experience to IMAX. So you can get $5 off an IMAX ticket, and this whole box retails for $49.99. There's then a cardboard piece that you can remove, and underneath that we have more goodies. There are two lenticular popcorn buckets. Uh, they both feature the Millennium Falcon in the middle of warp speed. It does look three-dimensional when you're holding that up, and you could go to the theater, buy yourself a large popcorn, and then siphon out into smaller, uh, smaller cups with those. Uh, those are really neat. There's also, inside of this packaging, two uh, reusable straws. So a lot of movie theaters have already switched to paper straws, and these are both uh, themed to lightsabers. One's red, one's blue. Also comes with a pipe cleaner to clean out your straws. Underneath that section, this is where something becomes kind of more useful than just your movie-going experience, we have a bag that really looks like it could be from the Star Wars universe. We have two winter hats, since this movie does come out in December. Um, they also are colors evocative of what the characters wear in the films and have a uh, Star Wars logo on them. And then there's also a metal poster. So this is really cool, um, almost like a license plate. Even comes with a uh, instructions on how to hang, hang that up and some 3M strips um, in case you don't want to nail anything to the wall. And at the bottom of the box, we do have one more screenshot from the film. It looks like this is Ray, Finn, and Poe um, looking out over an ocean at potentially Death Star damage. Uh, so this is really cool. We're going to unbox all of the individual pieces and take a closer look. Here are the pins outside of their packaging, and they are very shiny, very golden. Now these are spinner pins, so you can flip these around. If you have the pin backs on, it does prevent them from spinning. Um, but you can turn those around and they are different images on the back side. Here's the IMAX upgrade lanyard and the uh, the actual lanyard itself just says Star Wars. That is detachable so you could take the, uh, the actual credential off and reuse this, say if you're going to Star Wars Celebration. Um, so that is nice. Now the card itself, this doesn't actually do anything. Um, you can upgrade to IMAX via the email that was sent to you when you pre-ordered the box. So you don't actually need this to activate that offer. Um, it doesn't contain any codes on it, but um, this is something cool that you could wear to the theater to show other people that you are seeing Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker in IMAX.
Geeks. Now here is the booklet about the official Star Wars app, um, which does have a variety of features, but there is a QR code. You scan that code and then you can access some exclusive selfie mode options that you can only get by ordering this box. The R2-D2 earbud holder, you would just punch out the R2 from the backing here, and then it has two prongs here, they do bend, so you would slide the uh, the front and the back in there, and then just wrap them around the droid there, and then he does have that QR code on the back to be able to download a selection of songs. Um, they call it the Star Wars Movie Night Ultimate Playlist. Here is the BB-8 Dio decal that can go on any glass surface, um, but which I think really intended for cars. It gives you instructions on the back on how to prep your windshield. Here are the two lenticular popcorn buckets. I don't think it shows up very well. Um, there's not really an effect that happens when you turn them, but it does give them depth. So they do uh, seem like the Millennium Falcon is sort of 3D on the popcorn bucket. The straws have their own Star Wars branded sleeve, and you just slide those out. Now, um, it's a, a straight straw on both ends, but on this side it does have the uh, hilt of the lightsaber that does pop off, so if you're trying to clean it, don't worry. Um, if this is too difficult to suck through, you could pop that off and not necessarily use it. But that is a really cool look. And then as I mentioned, it does come with a tool for cleaning. So when you're washing these, you would want to hand wash only, but you would put some soap on that guy, and then you can use this pipe cleaner and clean out the inside of your straw. So that is very nice and handy. The bag is a lot nicer than I was expecting it to be. It does have this knit uh, top section of the single strap, and it kind of reminds you almost of a bandolier there. And then this is adjustable at the bottom, so you can tighten that on you. It does have the Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker logo on this section right here. In this section, it's big enough for a cell phone. This smaller section up here has a zipper, and that's about the right size for maybe some keys or car keys or cell phone or uh, home keys. There's a zipper section on this side, and this one is a little bit tiny. Um, you could certainly fit like headphones and things like that, but it doesn't go that deep into the bag. The other section is where it has all the depth. So that one goes all the way through to the back side behind that other pouch. It even has a smaller pouch inside that's the right size for a tablet. So if you have an iPad, you can fit that in there. The other thing to note are the actual zipper pulls on the bag. Those are Star Wars themed as well. Um, and they're double sided with two different symbols. You've got the Rebel symbol and the Empire symbol. Now it comes with two different winter hats. So this is really, again, two popcorn buckets, two straws. It's really designed for a couple. And uh, the one hat, it's kind of a tan color, has the uh, rebel symbol there. The other one, it's black, but it's a little bit speckled. Other multicolors, um, it's got little bits and they're subdued, they're not bright. Um, there's a little bit of red, orange, and blue uh, kind of knitting sticking out of that hat. And then it has the exact same uh, rebel symbol on this one as well. And here's that metal poster out of its packaging on the back side. It does show that it is embossed just for the logo. Um, so that is cool. It did come with Velcro command hooks. So you could uh, Velcro this to your wall with a safe and removable piece. And then there is also instructions on how to care for your metal sign and how to hang it properly. That's everything that comes with the Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker box from Disney Movie Club Boxes. I forgot to mention, you don't have to be a Disney Movie Club subscriber in order to order this. Uh, it has its own separate website, which I'll include in the description. And this was $49.99. I'm a l very impressed with the quality of all the items. With so much stuff in the set, kind of expected them to all be fairly low quality. The bag in particular is really nice. I'm planning to use this and I wasn't expecting to just by seeing the image online. The winter hats are really great because if you don't want everyone to know you're wearing Star Wars, it's very subtle. Uh, you really have to look close to notice the Star Wars emblem. Otherwise, it looks like any winter hat. Uh, the decal is exclusive, BB-8 and Dio. Um, that is great. It is colorful. It's just hard to see because it has a protective seal on it because it's got a sticky backing. And then, uh, obviously, you get that exclusive functionality in the app. If you're still using corded headphones, the R2-D2 earbud holder is really nice. The straws are really cool. And then the lenticular popcorn buckets are fun, even if you're 
you're just using those at home. Uh, but my favorite item in the set is actually the two pins, and I'm not even a pin person. I don't collect pins, um, but these two I'm keeping. These are really great. Uh, so if this interests you, be sure to go check them out. $49.99 takes about a week to get to you, so if it's not going to get to you in time for your first time seeing The Rise of Skywalker, it can certainly get to you by your second, third, fourth, or maybe fifth. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.